Wow, some people are sad. Let it be said that I do like this game, but there is a bit of criticism here, so if you can't handle that, cry about it, I guess. <laughs> My god. There's a debate as to whether this game is DLC to the last one in the same way Miles is to Spider-Man. The answer from a gameplay perspective is... kinda. But like, in a good way. In the world of gaming, there are three types of sequels. The sequel that fixes all the broken shit in the original, the sequel that polishes what came before, and the sequel that completely changes what it used to be. Ragnarok is definitely in the camp of polish, and some might find that disappointing. Why though? There was never any indication that it was going to change much, and what it did change was basically fix any and all small issues I had with the previous one. It also added a few extras, like this badass shield bash, multiple shields with respective abilities, and this new weapon which I ain't gonna show, but ooh, it's cool. From a gameplay perspective, it manages to upgrade Kratos in every meaningful way I wanted. But it also decided to make the enemies way more varied and frustrating because give me God of War is gonna kick you in the nuts yes or yes. I'm on board with new and more interesting enemies, mind you, but also, the game kind of pulled a sneaky on you. It literally starts you off a bit easy, like the enemies do a fair bit of damage, but not enough to two-shot you like in 4, so I was like, you know what? It's really good. I really like this new balance. Psych! You dumb bitch. You picked Give Me God of War, you will give me God of War. You are learning every mega speed run strat or your ass is grass. Actually, the more I think about it, I kind of love it. Yeah, no, never mind, this is awesome. From a gameplay standpoint, this game gave me everything I wanted. But that also brings us to the other and honestly more important aspect of the game, the story. And holy fuck, is there a lot of story. There might be more story than all the other games combined, and uh, it's, it's a little messy for that. In fact, I think I got a pretty good example of this, though it is a bit of a spoiler. It doesn't tell you much, and it's within the first third of the game, but, you know, spoiler alert. Ready? Here we go. So at a few points throughout the game, you play as Atreus. That's about as big a spoiler as you're getting. He plays pretty good, obviously Kratos plays better, but for what you're given, it's pretty fun. However, I was kind of put off after this Chronicles of Narnia-ass place. Hey, you like doing slow-ass chores on a slow-ass yak for an hour and a half? No? Too bad, have fun, dickface! Oh, but hey, you get a few Draugr fights in between these things, so, you know, it's kind of fun, right? No. It killed so much of the goodwill this game had, which was already kind of shaky since most of the beginning was Atreus bringing up this fucking guy, or Kratos trying not to get involved in Ragnarok, which, my guy, I get where you're coming from. But also, the all-fucker and his ever-increasing list of war crimes literally knocked on your door within the first 10 minutes of the game. I'm guessing at some point you're gonna have to do something about that. Regardless, this was one of the most painful, boring experiences to get through in this series. Then they immediately followed up with this. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. What all this means is, the game is good. It is a good, if not great game. But there's so much story here that you are gonna have to put up with a lot of slow, even frustrating buildup before a payoff that absolutely blows it out of the water. You can make the argument that the 2018 game did the same thing, but there was more mystery and storytelling over time since there was considerably less story to tell. 
Here though, no one shuts up about prophecies and you have more cutscenes than a Kingdom Hearts game to get through. Yet it still manages to be one of the best games I've played and ends on a note so high that I honestly... Fuck, I don't know if I want God of War to end here or not. God of War Ragnarok is an entire epic crammed into one game. It has dynamic and quite possibly the best combat this series has ever had, mixed in with a journey that, while overstuffed and drawn out at times, shows you so much development for Kratos that it makes you want to go back and play the entire series again. It's a game that I still have so much to do in, but for now, I give it a 9 out of 10. It is definitely up there with Elden Ring as Game of the Year material is what I would say if they had a realistic cat you could walk around town with. Gonna have to give these games a 0 out of 10 actually. Shit games.